Hello, we're doing a worksheet on uh, nets of shapes, which is a subtopic of volumes and surface area. Alright, so this is the first question from the worksheet, which says that a diagram shows the net of a solid. What is the special mathematical name of this solid? So it's a prism. Oh, sorry, it's a pyramid, so no, no rocket, rocket science there. And then part B says, for this solid, write down the number of vertices. So vertices are actually the corners of the shape once it's closed. So once you'll close this pyramid, you'll get a shape like this, right? So how many corners will this shape have? One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five for question number one. Question number two. Okay, so this is, says the diagram shows a triangular prism of length 12 centimeters. The cross section is a right angle triangle with sides 6 and 8 and 10. On the grid, draw the net using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 2, cen two centimeters. Okay, one face has been drawn for you. So this has four boxes. So that means this 1 centimeter is two centimeters one centimeters on the grid is actually two centimeters so this would be eight centimeters right and then this is uh, these are six boxes which makes 12 centimeter here so they've already plotted this central rectangle the lower rectangle for us so this is already plotted we have to plot the rest Let's plot this triangle now. Both of these triangles. This side is 6. So, and this side is 10. And this side is 8. So, this 8 will be 4 here. So, one of the sides is this. This is the length with 4. Sorry, this is the 8 centimeter length, which is this lower length. Now connect it with uh, this length of 6 centimeters, which is this length. And when you join these two, you'll automatically get 10 centimeters. So this is 6 centimeters. And this is 10 centimeters. You don't have to label these parts. I'm just labeling these for explanation 6. Similarly, we have another exactly identical uh, rect. Uh, triangle at the other end so this is 6 this is 8 and this would be 10 next we're left with one rectangle whose dimensions are 10 by 12 so we already have this 12 side over here so we will use that and with that we'll make a 5 boxes long line which will represent 10 centimeters So this is 5 by 12 and also we're left with one more side. We're left with the rectangle at the back which has dimensions 12 by 6. So this is 12 and make a 3 centimeter long line which represents 6 centimeters. So here is the net of this shape. Now when you fold this and tape this shape, you'll get this prism back. Okay, then we have question number three, which is the diagram shows a, the diagram shows a closed box. The box is a cuboid. The measurements are in centimeters on the grid below. Complete an accurate, accurate drawing of the net of the box. Do not draw outside of the grid. All right, so we already have two rectangles drawn for us let's see this is 2 by 4 here the scale is not mentioned so we'll be using uh, the same scale for both so 2 centimeter of the box is 2 centimeters on this grid or two boxes on this grid so this is the red rectangle then we have more dimensions drawn for us which is, are 4 by 3 where is the rectangle of this dimension 4 by 3 here it is 
and also one at the other end so these are already plotted so we need to first plot this triangle rectangle at the front and the similar rectangle at the back so its dimensions are 2 by 3 so we already have this 2 here make a 3 centimeter long line here and you get this and similarly here also we have to connect the uh, this rectangle as well this one is left its dimensions are 4 by 2 so this is already 4 just make a 2 centimeter long line with it and complete this rectangle and we have the shape we're looking for this belongs to this okay question number four which is the diagram shows a triangular prism measurements are in centimeters on the grid below complete the accurate drawing of the net of the prism do not draw outside the grids part b find this surface area of the prism all right so let's do part a we all they've already given us one rectangle which has dimensions four three so this one is already drawn for us there's an identical rectangle at the other end as well so let's make that first this let uh, just copy this shape here as well four three and this length would automatically be five these two lengths why because of Pythagoras theorem if one length is 3 the other length is uh, 4 of right angle triangle then the largest side will be 5 using under root 3 square plus 4 square which makes under root 25 anyway so coming back to the question uh, they were also plotted 3 by 4 so where's three, the rectangle 3 by 4 here it is so this one has been made already so also they've made another one which has dimensions 4 by 4 so this one 4 by 4 so this is already plotted so we're left with the lower rectangle this has to be plotted that it has dimensions 5 by 4 so we already have 4 here let's make a length of 5 units 1 2 3 4 5 yes let's extend this and join these and we have our required net next up we have question number 6 which is the diagram shows a pyramid the square base ABCD has an edge of 3 cm the base is horizontal and vertex E is vertically above D where ED is 4 ok on the grid oh, we did not find the surface area of the previous question so going back to that first alright so we need this total surface area so I see all the shapes I'll simply uh, write the dimensions so I have two rectangles so two times half times base times height plus I have sorry I had two triangles with dimensions 4 by 3 and then we I have uh, three rectangles of different dimension this is 4 by 5 plus this is 3 by 4 plus this is 4 by 4 add these values and you will get the answer for surface area all right okay going back to the next question okay so here uh, we first have to draw the net and they've already drawn the rectangle in the yes rectangle in the middle okay which is this one
okay and then they always also have made a rectangle with dimensions 4 by 3 where is that 4 by 3 this one this has dimensions 4 by 3 so this is already drawn 4 and 3 also if this is 4 and 3 then this is 5 automatically and this is length 5 using Pythagoras theorem similarly we have another rectangle like that this has length 4 and this this is 3 so uh, and these two are connected right so I will be making another triangle exactly like that so this is 4 and this is 3 already so these two are identical 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 all right so next we're also given another triangle whose dimensions are 3 and 1 2 3 4 5 3 by 5 where is that triangle okay so that's this one three by five okay so it's drawn for us three by five next if this is three this is five then what will be this length I'll apply Pythagoras theorem under root three square plus five squared I get under root 34 okay disregard this we don't actually need this we don't need the third uh, dimension why is that because let's because look at the the triangle one triangle that we still need to plot its dimensions are 3 and this was 5 remember because when one dimension is 4 the other one is 3 then the next one is 5 so this is uh, this is 4 this is 3 this is 5 now this 5 will connect with another 5 which is the 5 of this last triangle so 1 2 3 4 4 5 so this is 5 and this is 3 so we don't care what whichever whatever length this is whatever this was under root 34 or something we'll just uh, draw this hypotenuse and we don't need its dimensions in fact we don't need any dimensions I've written on this graph on this uh, yes graph uh, because that's not the requirement of the question you're su just supposed to draw an accurate sketch so if you're doing all of that in your head and in the end showing a correct uh, net you will get full marks okay part B calculate the total surface area of the pyramid so for that I'll simply start adding all the areas I have a area of a square plus I have a, these two identical areas 2 times half times base times height plus this one which is half times 3 by 5 and another one of the same dimension so I'll multiply this with 2 and we get 36 which is the answer written over here 36 is the total surface area okay next is this question number six Anam has drawn Anam has drawn th the shown net of a cylinder whose radius is 3.5 centimeter and the height is 10 centimeters all right Saad says that net is not correct showing your working and state if Saad is right or not okay so uh, let's try to draw the net of this shape on our own by disregarding this and then we'll see if our nets match or not all right so when we'll open this shape to make the net we'll get a rectangle in the middle because when you unroll a cylinder you'll get a rectangle all right and then we'll have two circles over here okay and this would be 3.5 
and this would be 3.5 so so far the shape looks correct and then the this height okay so this is 10 and this is 10 okay this would work so we're left with this dimension these dimensions and these are this length which is the circumference of the circle so what is the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r so 2 times part pi, pi times radius this that give us 25 2 times pi times 3.5 which gives us 21.99 so the answer is is Saad right? yes Saad is right in saying that this net is wrong drawn by Anam so yes because uh, like I have written over here Saad is right because the length of the rectangle should be 22.0 and not 25 so this should be 21 point was it 99 it wasn't 22 this is 99 so rounded off it becomes 22 centimeters okay last question of this worksheet which is an open cone is made from a semicircle of radius 20 centimeters the perimeter of the semicircle is a plus b pi find the values of a and b so we're finding the perimeter of the semicircle this is 40 and this length is half the circumference which is 2 pi r divided by 2 so the perimeter will be lengths of all side 40 plus 20 pi so a plus b pi a is 40 and b is 20 like shown over here okay part b find the radius of the base of the cone okay so now this will get folded from here to get to this cone okay so yeah like I just said if we we'll connect these two lines join this line with this line by bending the page you'll get this cone and this line will be equals to 20 so this will change into the slant height so now the lower circle this will be made from this length so both these lengths should be equal so I'll be using the formula for half of half of uh, the circumference 2 pi r divided by 2 equals to full circumference of this one 2 pi r and now we'll find the value of r pi pi 2 2 get cancelled r equals 10 okay and then part C says the height of the cone is under root x find the value of x so for part C I know this is the height of the cone this is 20 and this is radius radius came out to be 10 I need the height height is under root 20 square minus 10 square so this is under root 300 which should be equals to under root x so x is 300 and we're done with this worksheet i'll see you next time take care